Let's finish looking at the digestive system. Now we have our mannequin put back together again. So I'd like to point out the liver and the stomach. And this purplish colored structure is part of the large intestine. And this is the small intestine. So let's remove the liver. Have a look at the gallbladder. Let's remove the stomach. And now from the outside, we can see the fundus, the body, and the pylorus. And now we can see that the large intestine has got this area that goes upward. This is the ascending colon. It has this part that goes across. This is the transverse colon. And then we have this part of the colon that you can barely see that goes down. This is the descending colon. Let's pull off the small intestine and now you can see this area called the sigmoid colon. Ascending, transverse, descending, sigmoid. I want to remind you that the beginning of the large intestine is this pouch that is called the cecum and that attached to the cecum is your appendix. When you look at the shape of the colon, the large intestine, you'll see it's got these bubble looking kind of pouches. Each one of those pouches is called a haustrum, and the plural for haustrum is haustra. And it also has this band. It's got a band along each side, and that band is called the tania coli. It is contraction of the tania coli that creates this puckering that are called the haustra.